Hello guys, welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel. So today we will talk about uh, difference between sanity, regression and uh, smoke testing. So all those uh, look similar but uh, those are different. So many people know like uh, those are different and they are doing in regular uh, job. But uh, as part of terminology they don't know like how much covered in which kind of testing. So in interviews when someone asks you the difference you will get even though you have done that sometimes you can't answer perfectly so please subscribe this channel and press bell icon and watch this video till the end so i will explain it uh, through the car analogy so it will be very easy to understand the topic so if you are a beginner then also you can uh, understand this very uh, well and you won't forget this in the future so let's go so I have only six slides, so uh, we can start. So we will go through smoke versus sanity versus regression testing. So let's start. So for example, you went to the service station and you bought a car. So when you buy a new car, what you will do? You will take a test drive. So in test drive, what you will check? You will check like if car is running smoothly, engine not make so much noise, uh, gas is working properly, visibility is good, headlights are working, rear, uh, rear camera is working. So you check all the functionality once like uh, it is working fine or not. Yes, car is new, you can trust like yeah, all the functionality will work. But still you will check all the functionality once doors are setting properly. Ta the emission is good and everything right so you check all the critical functionalities and uh, just uh, it is not deep testing but you try to cover all the critical functionalities so that is what called smoke testing in our testing world so I will go through like uh, when we do this and all in the last slide so after you bought a car for example after sometimes you find that your gearbox is not working correctly so you went to the service station and asked for the repair so that guy has changed the gearbox now once you drove this car what you will do you will check like okay gear that gearbox is working fine or not so you just put in the first gear second gear and check like okay it is working fine so you just check the whatever the things are changed Sometimes uh, more parts are changed, then you will do more. But uh, uh, when some uh, uh, some parts are changed, and you know, like uh, or some new fe new feature, for example, you have added some new accessories, for example, CD player. So you will just check the CD player; it is working fine or not, and then you take the car. So that is what sanity testing is called. So again, like after this uh, repair of car, for example, now you. We have multiple parts goals changed right so you don't know like what engine parts are changed so they he has changed or you have bought old car you don't know like what all parts are changed or there are so many parts are changed so what you will do you will test all the functionalities again like uh, engine is not making noise uh, in the detail uh, headlights are working fine doors are closing properly and uh, uh, one is working fine battery is good uh, fuel efficiency is good so you will uh, take two three days and check everything if it is working fine or not and if you find something okay engine is making more noise so you go back again to the uh, service station so this is what we called regression testing so in our IT world like how it works let's start so once a new build is come so what is build so whoever new year uh, new Pressers here. So build is like uh, in when developers uh, 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 merge their code. After that, they create one build. So if you are seeing the any website, so in internal they collect the code and deploy on the website. That is uh, directly don't deploy in production, but they have their environment and there they deploy the build. So that is called initial build or new build. So if uh, uh, it is mobile application so in mobile application where they will uh, they will create one apk right if it is android application if ios application they create one new build if it is windows application they create one exe that is not deployed in production but it is internally generated so whatever new build is uh, uh, there 
so what they need to do making sure like existing critical functionalities work fine so for example when they have created android application so first thing they need to check is it gets in, getting installed and opening fine it is not crashing user can able to log in there so whatever critical functionalities are there of that application they will check mostly developer will check check and that is what we call soft uh, smoke testing most of the times smoke testing is done by developers or uh, in case there are more qs and less developer then qa will also help a developer and sometimes uh, companies call it dev in test as well but it's slightly different but uh, you can tell like uh, sometimes developer do smoke testing as part of dev in testing so this is what uh, we call smoke testing and most of the time uh, smoke testing can be automated and uh, most of the companies prefer it will be automated so whenever the new build is come cd pipeline is there all the critical functionality testing will get automated and uh, published uh, the report and when all gets uh, green then only it goes ahead so now other thing what we can do in case of like uh, some new feature added in the build new build or some bug is get fixed so what we need to do make sure like whatever the changes he has done developers are have done is working fine or not that is sanity testing so for example the uh, app uh, login was not working so once it is public uh, user uh, qa will check like if login is working yeah login is working then they mark sanity testing green so sanity testing mostly done by qa it can be automated but uh, as far like it mostly new feature testing or uh, bug testing so mostly it will be done manually and uh, <coughs> there is no order like mostly smoke testing done first and then sanity testing once qa get he do sanity testing but if it is done by qa then there uh, qa may do smoke testing plus sanity testing together so there is no order like mostly like if developer is doing the uh, smoke testing the new build is published then smoke testing he do and it uh, build pass to qa so qa will check okay whatever new feature is added is that working fine or not or is the whatever uh, uh, bug is fixed is is fixed or not so it is just sanity testing is like uh, he don't do that in deep like if new feature is added he just check ui is coming yeah it is coming so whatever positive testing is there or user acceptance testing there is there he will do that part only and that is called sanity testing once it is clear like okay sanity testing is uh, working properly then he will go and further do exploratory testing functional testing uh, all the test case he will execute but if he finds like uh, that bug is not working right whatever bug fix is done it is not working still not working with some build so he will pass back to the developer saying like okay it is not working so no need to do further functional testing or other testing once sanity testing and smoke testing pass uh, if required like if there are so many changes in the build so if required uh, qa can do regression test so regression testing is uh, all about making sure like all existing or affected features works fine so as we saw in that car example right so when you just uh, change the gearbox and now you did sanity testing that gearbox works fine and you took the uh, car to home after that you will test like uh, it if it is working with all the gears properly the shifting gears is smooth engine is not making uh, more noise in any of the gear and it uh, taking uh, speed uh, as per uh, uh, gear is uh, there right so it should be fast in uh, higher gear and it should be slow and it should make uh, 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 run as soon as you shift in first gear like that so that is uh, uh, you can say retest selected test casing so regression is you can divide in two parts one is if uh, something is changed so you do regression around that functionality only so if one spare part is uh, changed in the car you will test uh, around that thing only but when you are not sure like what all test or sometimes that uh, new android version is came right so you test all your application in that android version so you test all the regression test cases so it is retest all so mostly in real life what happens is like whenever uh, we are about to release before that uh, in one of the sprint we do all the regression testing and we retest all the test cases 
or if it is automated so we run or every time uh, full automation of regression testing so yeah that's all please subscribe this channel and don't forget to share this video around your QA group if you have any question feel free to ask in the comments and also follow us on social media uh, where we uh, share most of the memes and funny te funny software testing jokes so don't miss that uh, links are in the description thank you guys